Hey, Steve here at ACK, and I've got a couple of products in front of me from EcoX Gear. Uh, these products are all made to let you take your phone, or more importantly, your tunes out on the water with you. Uh, first, I have the Eco Extreme, uh, really neat self-contained unit. You can see I have a Samsung Galaxy uh, S3 in here, and all I do is plug the Galaxy into, or the headphone jack of the Galaxy into the cord that's supplied. Uh, I load this guy up with three AA batteries and inside here I have a mesh pocket that I can use to hold the phone or uh, hold the phone steady or I can put other accessories behind it. Close this, I have some really strong positive locking latches and uh, my tunes are playing. I have a volume control right on the front which is also a power control for the unit. Uh, on the back side of the unit, I have this carabiner and lash tab, so a great way to lash it to my boat or my pack or uh, whatever else I need. Uh, like I said, waterproof uh, and it floats, but I would test the floatability of it depending on what you put inside it because if you put some extras in there, you could uh, push the limits on how well it floats. Uh, designed to be waterproof, but not designed to be submerged for long periods of time. Uh, really, uh, you know, you don't want to swim with this, you just want to use it to keep your phone and your radio protected. Uh, next item from these guys is the uh, EcoTerra. This is uh, more like a boombox, and you can see in here I have a Thunderbolt. Uh, I've connected it the same way as the Eco Extreme. I just plug this cable into the headphone jack. I can place the item in there. I start my tunes, close my door with these two latches. You can hear them, they really positively lock, and uh, I'm good to go. Uh, really easy to operate. I have volume buttons on the top here, but I also have a forward, backward skip, and I have a pause feature, so I don't have to go in and out of the case like I would on the Eco Extreme if a tune comes on I don't like, or if I want to change stations. Well, if I want to change stations, I do, but if I just want to skip or pause, I can do that right from the top. Um, you can see I've got a tab on the side here that I can carabiner with. Uh, comes with a shoulder strap and a couple more carabiners, so I've got lots of ways to lash this down to my boat or the dock or, or wherever I am. Also has a handy flip-up carry handle, so I can carry it around with me, easy to transport. There's no, no slip rubber feet on the bottom, so uh, it, it'll also tend to stay in place. Uh, again, this item floats. Uh, floats with the phone and batteries in it. There's not much else you can fit in there, so you should have no problem uh, with putting extra weight in there. But again, test it in shallow water to make sure. Um, on the back side, I have my aux in. So if I wanted to connect this to uh, maybe the stereo on my boat or the stereo out on my porch, I can do that without having to use the internal uh, headphone jack. I also have a DC adapter. So if I am somewhere where there's power, I can power this thing uh, straight from the wall outlet instead of using the batteries. These uh, connections for DC in and the aux in screw tight. They have rubber gaskets on them. And so uh, you really want to make sure that they're closed when you're not using them to ensure your watertight uh, properties of the unit itself. The batteries themselves that power the unit are inside the front compartment. So I remove my phone, I remove this, uh, this molded tray, and in there I have my battery compartment. Uh, it takes size C batteries. They are not included and it requires four of them. Uh, you'll also notice while I'm in this compartment, there's a selector switch. Uh, there is a different setting depending on whether you're using an iPhone or a non-iPhone and that selector switch has I and has S. So I for iPhone, S for smartphone. Uh, make sure you choose that one properly when you're setting up your unit. Uh, lastly from EcoX Gear, I have the EcoX BT. This is a Bluetooth version of their radio system. So I can connect my smartphone, my iPhone to this by way of Bluetooth, no cords necessary, self-contained battery, lithium ion battery, so this is rechargeable. Um, you can see here I got a little 
case on the back and uh, comes with a handy tether, so, or not a case on the back, a cover on the back, comes with this handy tether so I don't lose my cover. Uh, so when I do need to charge it, <clears throat> I can charge it from the included USB power adapter. So I have a USB jack in the back. I also have an aux in uh, jack on the back. So if I want to power, or not power this, if I want to send the tunes to this through my stereo, I can use that aux in. I still, uh, I also have a handy carabiner so I can clip it to my boat, to my pack, to my dock, wherever I need to, to keep it in place. Um, top of the unit has a power button, Bluetooth pairing button, up and down volume control, and telephone speaker phone control. So if I have this paired to my phone and I do receive a call, I can press that telephone button and this unit acts as a speaker phone and as a microphone. I do need to be within three feet of it for that function to work. Uh, powering the unit on and off is simple with the, uh, with the power button. Once the unit's powered on, I can pair it to my smartphone using the Bluetooth button. I set my smartphone into pairing mode uh, and set it to scan for devices. I press the Bluetooth button and I get the blue blinking light. It should now be visible to my phone. At that point, you would go to your phone and select the Eco X BT and you'll be ready to go. So, hope I've uh, shown you a couple of ways, three different ways to get your tunes out on the water with you or out on the trail with you and uh, hope you enjoy the stuff and have a great time out there. Thanks.